Who likes to do documentation here? Hmm, not many, right? Well, in the latest updates of Power BI, they have made one change that makes making documentation a lot easier. Let me show you. So first of all, I'm guessing that documentation is not your favorite part, but it is very important. So I have to be done. And one of the ways I like to do it, and I've been doing it always, is I add a definition in the actual measure. You are going to see the number of unique customers, right? And then what I was doing, I was using DAX Studio to get that information out and then plug it back in. Well, with one of the last changes that the Power BI team has done, we don't need to do that anymore. Let me show you. So I'm going to show you here first. So evaluate info view measures. If we run this, this is going to go and grab all the measures that we have in our model. And it will give you the ID, the name, the table that is at, description, if you have add the description, the data type, expression and yeah some other stuff like if you see them or not things like that now this has been available for a long long time but you we were not able to take this information out we can now though so i'm going to show you we're going to go back here go to modeling new table and i normally call this glossary but i already have a glossary page so i'm going to call this dictionary and then we're going to do select columns because i don't want to have the entire info view stuff there are some things there that the user does not care about and should not care about so i'm going to do select columns info view measures and then here you can select the stuff that you want so i'm going to pick the table that is at, for example. So you do it like this. You give a, a name to the column that you want, and then you grab the column. So if we look here, we can see that we got a column with the table name. So obviously, this is not enough. We need to have some more information. This is where I normally get what I like to extract. I go here, comma, and I like to get the folder, the display folder, the calculation, the name of the calculation. Then the description that I've added, I'm going to show you how to add descriptions if you don't know. And then if it is hidden, because I use that to hide the ones that I don't want to show. You don't want to show everything. There are other ways you can do it, but I use that one. And then I grab the DAX formula, but I don't show it to the users. Normally they don't care and they don't know how to read it anyway, but I just have it for me. And this is how it looks. Lovely. To add the description part, I do have description on some of these. You can see them down there. So let's grab anyone. I don't know. Max Monetary, for example. You have to go, unfortunately, here. Please, Power BI team. I want to be able to add descriptions in here, in the report view. I don't want to go back and forth. And I don't want to go back and forth to create folders and move folders. Just please, on the table, on the report view, will be lovely. Anyhow, we go here, monetary values, you grab the one that you want to have, for example, M score, and this is this description of the M score ranges. You can create this using Copilot if you have Copilot turned on. It gives you what it gives you. Just make sure you review it okay and now that you have it it gets added to the model so it will get added to the dictionary and then you can just refresh these things so refresh the data and then it will refresh if you don't see it right away remember to refresh it so now we are going to grab the dictionary table and then put folder description i'm going to put the is hidden in here and i'm going to Make sure that it only shows the ones that are not hidden. So if it's hidden, please don't show it. And then I want to have the calculation. I think this is the name. Yeah, there you go. You can also, of course, do like if it is blank, please don't show. So show me only the ones that are um, not blank. So this is useful for you to see if there is an important mission that you are not documenting for whatever reason. You can come here and then 
go. So now the documentation lives on your report. And every time you change a measure, you probably need to change the description. You can do it here right away. So I hope this uh, tip was useful. I'm probably going to get, you know, the two weeks for Christmas off. So probably I will see you in two weeks, but who knows? I might do a video anyway. So I will see you very, very soon. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. If I don't see you until then. Bye bye.